ವಂದೇಹಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಶ್ರೀಯುತ ಪದ ಕಮಲಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುನ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವಾಂಶ ಶ್ರೀರೂಪ ಸಾಗರ ಜಾತ ಸಗಣದ ಗುಣಾಥಾಂತ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾತ್ವೈತ ಸಾವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಾದ ಸಗೃತ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾನ್ವಿತಾಶ ಓಂ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಿತಿಂದ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಂಜನ ಶಲಾಕಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರುನ್ಮಿಲ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ನಾಮ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಮನುಮಿ ಶಚಿಪುತ್ರಮತ್ರ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ತಸ್ಯಾಗ್ರಜ ಮುರುಪುರಿ ಮಾಥುರಿ ಗೋಷ್ಠವಾಟಿ ರಾಧಾಕುಂಡಂ ಗಿರಿವರ ಮಹೋರಾಧಿಗಾ ಮಾಧವಾಶಾಂ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತೋಯಸ ಪ್ರತಿ ಕೃಪೆಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ತಂ ನತೋಸ್ಮಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಗುರುದೇವಾಯ ಸರ್ವಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಪ್ರದಾಯಿನೆ ಸರ್ವಮಂಗಲ ರೂಪಾಯ ಸರ್ವಾನಂದ ವಿದಾಯಿನೆ ಅನರ್ಪಿತ ಚರಿಂ ಚಿರಾತ್ ಕರ್ಣಾವತೀರ್ಣಾಕಲೌ ಸಮರ್ಪಯಿತ ಉನ್ನತೋಜ್ವಲ ರಸಾಂಸ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಶ್ರಿಯ ಹರಿ ಪುರಟ ಸುಂದರ ದ್ಯುತಿ ಕದಂಬ ಸಂದೀಪಿತ ಸದಾ ಹೃದಯ ಕಂದರೆ ಸ್ಮೃತು ವಾ ಶಚಿನಂದನ ಸಂಸಾರ ದುಃಖ ಹೃದಯ ಪರಿದಸ್ಯ ಕಾಮ ಕ್ರೋಧಾದಿ ಕ್ರಮಕರಿ ಕವಲೀಕೃತ ದುರ್ವಾಸನಾ ನಿಗಡಿತ ನಿರಾಶ್ರಯ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಚಂದ್ರಮ ದೇಹಿ ಪರಾವಲಂಬ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಚಂದ್ರಮ ಮೃತ್ಕುಮದಂ ವಿಕಾಶ ವೃತ್ತಂ ವಿಧೇಹಿರಿಯ ಚಿಂತನ ಭೃಂಗರಂಗೈ ಇಂಚಾಪರಾಧತಿಮಿದಂ ನಿಬಿದಂ ವಿಧೂಯ ಪಾದ ಮೃತ ಸದಯ ಪಾಯ ದುರ್ಗತಂ ಮಾಂ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸರ್ವಥಮ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಗುರು ಪಾತ್ ಪದ್ಮ ವಿಠಲಾ ಪ್ರವಿಷ್ಟ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪಾತ್ ಅಷ್ಟೋತ್ತರ ಶತ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ದಾಂತ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಯಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಆಫರ್ ಮೈ ಹಂಬಲ್ ಉಪಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫರ್ ಉಪಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಂಡಿ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ದಾಂತ ದಂಡಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಜಿ ಆಲ್ ದ ನಾಮಿಶ್ರ ಸಂತೋಷ ಅನಿರುದ್ಧ ದಾಸ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಜಿ ಆಲ್ ದ ವೈಷ್ಣವ ವೈಷ್ಣವ ಇಸ್ ಗ್ಯಾದರ್ಡ್ ಇಯರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಮೈ ಹಂಬಲ್ ಉಪಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ so we are uh, sorry i am a little late for the class just fell asleep uh, so anyways um, better late than never so we are on the uh, verse number 10 um adilila 2.10 prakash visheshate ha dharetina naam brahma parmatma ra swayam bhagavan prakash of manifestation vishesh and variety teha hi dhare holds teen three nama names brahma brahma means brahman parmatma the super soul r and swayam himself bhagwan the supreme personality of god it in terms of his various manifestations is known in three features called the impersonal brahma the localized parmatma and the original personality of god it the yoga swami has explained about bhagwan in his bhagavad sandarbha the personality of god it being full of all conceivable and inconceivable potencies is the absolute supreme all impersonal brahma is a partial manifestation of the absolute truth realized in the absence of such complete potencies the first syllable of the word bhagwan is bha which means which means sustainer and protector the next syllable ga means leader usher and creator ga means dwelling all living beings dwell in the supreme lord and the supreme lord dwells within the heart of every living being combining all these concepts the word bhagwan carries the import of inconceivable potency in knowledge energy strength opulence power and influence devoid of all varieties of inferiority without such inconceivable potencies one cannot fully sustain or protect our modern civilization is sustained by scientific arrangements devised by many great scientific brains we can just imagine therefore the gigantic brain whose arrangements sustain the gravity of the unlimited number of planets and satellites who creates the unlimited space in which they float if we consider 
if one considers the intelligence needed to orbit man-made satellites, one cannot be fooled into thinking that there is not a gigantic intelligence responsible for the arrangements of the various planetary systems. There is no reason to believe that all the gigantic planets float in the space without superior arrangement of a superior intelligence. This subject is clearly dealt with in the Bhagavad Gita 15.13. I think this is the Gama Vishaja Bhutani Dharyami Ahamo Jasa Ushnami Chaushata Sarva Somo Bhutvara Satmaka. Gam means the planets, Avish entering, Cha also Bhutani, the living entities. Dharyami sustain Aham I Ojasa by my energy. Ushnami I am nourishing Cha and Aushadihi. Aushadi means vegetables, sarvaha, all, somaha, the moon, bhutva, becoming, rasa, atmaka, supplying the juice. I enter into each planet and by my energy they stay in orbit. I become the moon and thereby supply the juice of life to all vegetables. It is understood that all the planets are floating in the air only by the energy of the Lord. The Lord enters into every atom, every planet, and every living being. That is discussed in the Brahma Samhita. It is said that one planetary portion, one planetary portion of the Supreme Personality of God, Paramatma, enters into the planets, the universes, the universe, the living entity, and even into the atom. So, due to his entrance, everything is appropriately manifested. When the Supreme Spirit is there, a living man can float on the water. But when a living spark is out of the body and the body is dead, the body sinks. Of course, <clears throat> when it is decomposed, it floats just like the straw, other things. But as soon as a man is dead, he at once sinks in the water. Similarly, all these planets are floating in space. This is due to the entrance of the Supreme Energy of the Supreme Personality of God. His energy is sustaining each planet, just like a handful of dust. If someone holds a handful of dust, there is no possibility of the dust falling. But if one throws it to the one throws it in the air, it will fall down. Similarly, these planets which they are floating in the air are actually held in the feast of the universal form of the Supreme Lord. By strength and energy, all moving and non-moving things, stay in their place. It is said in the Vedic hymns that because of the Supreme Personality of God and the sun is shining, the planets are steadily moving. Were it not for him, all the planets would scatter like dust in the air and perish. Similarly, it is due to the Supreme Personality of God that the moon nourishes all vegetables. Due to the moon's influence, the vegetables become delicious. Without the moonshine, the vegetables can neither grow nor taste succulent. Human society is working, living comfortably and enjoying food due to the supply from the Supreme Lord. Otherwise, mankind could not survive. The word Rasatmaka is very significant. Everything becomes palatable by the agency of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Uh, through the influence of the moon. So here, very nicely it is told, Bhagavan says that I enter into each planet and my, my energy, they stay in orbit. Where the planets not held in the creep of the personality of Godhead, they would all scatter like the dust in the air. Modern scientists can only impractically explain this inconceivable strength of the personality of Godhead. <clears throat> the potencies of the syllables A, G, and V apply in terms of many different meanings. Through his different potent agents, the Bhagavan protects and sustains everything, but he himself personally protects and sustains only his devotees. Just as the king personally sustains and protects his own children, 
while entrusting the protection and sustenance of the state to various administrative agents. The Lord is the leader of his devotees. As we learn from the Bhagavad Gita, which mentions that the personality of Godhead personally instructs his loving devotees how to make certain progress on the path of devotion and thus surely approach the kingdom of God. The Lord is also the recipient of all the adoration offered by his devotees, for whom he is the objective and the goal. For his devotees, the Lord creates a favorable condition for developing a sense of transcendental love of God. Sometimes he does this by taking away a devotee's material attachments by force and baffling all his material protective agents. For thus the devotee must completely depend on the Lord's protection. In this way the Lord proves himself the leader of his devotees. The Lord is not directly attached to the creation, maintenance and destruction of the material world. For he is eternally busy in the enjoyment of transcendental bliss, which with paraphernalia composed of his internal potencies. Yet as the initiator of material energy, as well as the marginal potency, the living beings, he expands himself as the Purusha Uttaras, who are invested with potencies similar to his. The Purusha Uttaras are also in the category of Bhagavad Gita. Because each and every one of them is identical with the original form of the personality of God. The living entities are his infinitesimal particles and are qualitatively one with him. They are sent into this material world for material enjoyment to fulfill their desires to be independent individuals. But still, they are subject to the supreme will of the Lord. The Lord deputes himself in the state of super soul to supervise the arrangements for such material enjoyment. The example of a temporary fair is quite appropriate in this connection. If the citizens of a state assemble in a fair to enjoy for a short period, the government deputes a special officer to supervise it. Such an officer is invested with all government power, governmental power, and therefore he is identical with the government. When the fair is over, there is no need for such an officer, and he returns home. The Paramatma is compared to such an officer. The living entities are not all in all. They are undoubtedly parts of the Supreme Lord, and are qualitatively one with him, yet they are subject to his control. And they are never equal to the Lord or one with Him. The Lord who associates with the living being is the Paramatma or the Supreme Living Being. No one therefore should view the tiny living beings and Supreme Living Beings to be on an equal level. The all-pervading truth that exists eternally during the creation, maintenance and annihilation of the material world and in which the living being's rest is in trance is called the impersonal Brahman. So very nice verse actually. Then the next important verse comes 2.11 Vadanti tatta vidas tattvam yat jnana madvayam brahmeti paramatmeti bhagavaniti shabdati Vadanti, they say that Tattva Vida, learned souls. Tattvam, the absolute truth. Yat, which, Jnanam, knowledge, Advayam, non-dual, Brahman. Iti das, Paramatma. Paramatma. Iti das, Bhagavan. Bhagavan, iti, Shabdhati, is known. Learned transcendentalist, who know the absolute truth, say that it is non-dual knowledge. And he is called Param, impersonal Brahman, localized Paramatma and the personality of God. The, this, this Sanskrit verse appears as the 11th verse of the first canto, second chapter of Srimad Bhagavatam, where Sutta Goswami answers the questions of the sages 
एडिटेड बाय शनक ऋषि कंसर्निंग द एसेंस ऑफ ऑल स्क्रिप्चरल इंस्ट्रक्शंस तत्वविदा रेफर्स टू पर्संस हु हैव नॉलेज ऑफ द एब्सोल्युट ट्रुथ दे कैन सडनली अंडरस्टैंड नॉलेज विदाउट ड्यूअलिटी बिकॉज़ दे आर ऑन द स्पिरिचुअल प्लेटफार्म द एब्सोल्युट ट्रुथ इज नोन समटाइम्स एज ब्रह्म Sometimes as Paramatma and sometimes as Bhagwan. Persons who are in knowledge of the truth know that one who tries to approach the absolute simply by mental speculation will ultimately realize the impersonal Brahma, and one who tries to approach the absolute through yoga practice will be able to realize Paramatma. But one who has complete knowledge and spiritual understanding realizes the spiritual form of Bhagwan. the personality of godhead devotees of the personality of godhead know that shri krishna the son of the king of vraja is the absolute truth they do not discriminate between shri krishna's name form qualities and pastimes one who wants to separate the lord's absolute name form and qualities from the lord himself must be understood to be lacking in absolute knowledge a pure devotee is a pure devotee knows that when he chants the transcendental name krishna shri krishna is present as transcendental sound he therefore chants with full respect and veneration when he sees the forms of shri krishna he does not see anything different from the lord if one sees otherwise he must be considered untrained in absolute knowledge this lack of absolute knowledge is called maya one who is not krishna conscious is ruled by the spell of maya under the control of a duality in knowledge in the absolute all manifestations of the supreme lord are non dual just as the multifarious forms of vishnu the controller of maya are non dual empiric philosophers who pursue the impersonal brahma accept only the knowledge that the personality of the living entity is not different from the personality of the supreme lord and mystic yogis who try to locate the paramatma accept only the knowledge that the pure soul is not different from the super soul the absolute conception of a pure devotee however includes all others a devotee does not see anything except in its relationship with krishna therefore his realization is the most perfect of all so here 2.12 taharangera shuddha kirana mandala upanishade upanishada kahe tandra brahma sunirmala tahar he is anger of the body shuddha pure kiran of rays mandala realm upanishad to upanishads kahe se tandre unto that brahma su nirmala transcendental what the upanishads call the transcendental impersonal brahma is a realm of the glowing effulgence of the same supreme person purport the mantras of the mundaka upanishad give information regarding the bodily effulgence of the supreme personality of god at this state kiran me pare koshe virajam brahma nishkalam tashubram jyotisham jyoti stadyad atma vido vidu tatra suryo bhati na chandra tarakam nema vidyuto bhanti kuto yam agni tameva bhantam anuvati sarvam तस्य भाषा सर्व इदम विभाति ब्रह्मै वेदम अमृतम पुरस्तात ब्रह्म पश्चात ब्रह्म दक्षिणतश्चोत्तरेण अदश्चोर्धम च प्रसृतम ब्रह्मै वेदम विश्वम इदम वरिष्ठम इन द स्पिरिचुअल रियल बियॉन्ड द मटेरियल कवरिंग इज द अनलिमिटेड ऑफ ब्रह्म इफेंशियंस which is free from material contamination that effulgent white light is understood by transcendentalist to be the light of all lights in that realm there is no need of sunshine moonshine fire 
or electricity for illumination. Indeed, whatever illumination appears in a material world is only a reflection of that supreme illumination. That Brahman is in front or is in front and in back, in the north, south, east and west, and also overhead and below. In other words, that supreme Brahman effulgence spreads throughout both the material and spiritual skies. Very nice verse actually. So, verse number 213. Charma chakshe dekhe jaise surya nirvishesh jnana marge laite nare krishnera vishesh Charma chakshe dekhe jaise surya nirvishesh jnana marge laite nare krishnera vishesh Charma chakshe means by the naked eye. Dekhe, one sees, jaise just as surya, the sun, nirvishesh, without variegatedness. Jnana marge, by the path of philosophical speculation, laite to accept nare not able, krishnera of Lord Krishna, vishesh to variety. As with the naked eye, one cannot know the sun except as a glowing substance. Merely by philosophical speculation, speculation, one cannot understand Lord Krishna's transcendental varieties. Verse number 2.14 Yasya prabha prabhavato jagadanda koti koti shvashesha vasudadi vibhuti vinnam tad brahmanishkala manantam ashesha bhutam Govindamadi Purusham Tamaham Bajami Yasya Apum Prabha, the effulgence, Prabhavata, of one who excels in power, Jagadanda of universes. Koti Kotishu, in millions and millions, Ashesha, unlimited, Vasudadi, with planets, etc., Vibhuti with opulences, Vinnam becoming variegated, Tat, that, Brahma, Brahma, Nishkalam without parts, Anantam, unlimited, Ashesha Bhutam, being complete, Govindam, Lord Govinda, Adi Purusham, the original person, Tam, Him, Aham, I, Vajami, worship. I worship Govinda, the primeval Lord, who is endowed with great power. The glowing effulgence of his transcendental form is the impersonal Brahma, which is absolute, complete and unlimited and which displays the varieties of countless planets with their different appearances in millions and millions of universes. This verse appears in the Brahma Samhita 5.40. Each and every one of the countless universes is full of innumerable planets with different constitutions and atmospheres. All these come from the unlimited non-dual Brahma or complete whole which exist in absolute knowledge. The origin of that unlimited Brahman effulgence is the transcendental body of Govinda who is offered respectful obeisances as the original and supreme personality of Godhead. So, this from Brahma Samhita giving proof. Koti Koti 2.15 Koti Koti Brahma Deje Brahmera Vibhuti Sai Brahma Govindera Ranga Kanti Koti Koti Brahma Deja Brahmera Vibhuti Sai Brahma Govindera Ranga Kanti Koti means tens of millions, tens of millions Brahma Ande in the universe. J, which Brahmera or Brahma. Vibhuti opulence, say that Brahma, Govindera of Lord Govinda, Haya is Angakanti, bodily effulgence. Lord Brahma said the opulence of the impersonal Brahma spread throughout the millions and millions of universes. That Brahman is but the bodily effulgence of Govinda. Say Govinda Bhajiami Tehumura Pati Tahara Prasadimura Haya Srushti Shakti. Brahma is telling, say that Govinda, Lord Govinda Bhaji, worship. Ami, I, Tehum, he, Mora, my Pati, Lord. 
tahar his prasade by the mercy more my hai becomes srishti of creation shakti power i worship govinda he is my lord only by his grace am i empowered to create universe although the sun is situated far away from the other planets its rays sustain and maintain them all indeed the sun diffuses its heat and light all over the universe similarly the supreme sun govinda diffuses its heat and light everywhere in the form of his different potencies the sun's heat and light are non different from the sun in the same way the unlimited potencies of govinda are non different from govinda himself therefore all therefore all parvesi brahma is the all parvesi govinda the bhagavad gita clearly mentions that the impersonal brahma is dependent upon govinda that is a real conception of absolute knowledge munayo vata vasana shramana urdha manthina ब्रह्मख्यम धामते यांति शांता सन्यासी नो अमला मुनया इज वर्स नंबर 2.17 आदिरिदा मुनया ओ सेंस वात वसन नेकेट श्रमणः हु परफॉर्म सीवियर फिजिकल पेनेंसेस ऊर्ध्व रेज्ड अप मंथिना हु सीमेन ब्रह्मख्यम नोन एज ब्रह्मलोक धाम अबोर्ड दे 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 यांति को शांता इक्विपोइंस्ड इन ब्रह्म सन्यासीना हु आर इन द रिनाउंस ऑर्डर ऑफ लाइफ अमर हा प्योर नेकेड सेंस एंड सन्यासीस वंडर गो सीवियर फिजिकल पेनेंसेस हु कैन रेज द सीमेन टू द ब्रेन एंड हु आर कंप्लीटली इक्विपोइंस्ड इन ब्रह्म कैन लिव इन द रियल नोन एज ब्रह्म In this verse from Shrimad Bhagavatam, 11 Canto 6, Chapter 47, verse Vata Vasana refers to mendicants who do not care about anything material, including clothing, but who depend wholly on nature. Such sages do not cover their bodies even in severe winter or scorching sunshine. They take great pains not to avoid. any kind of bodily suffering and they live by begging from door to door <coughs> into the brain does they become most intelligent and develop very sharp memories their minds are never disturbed or diverted from contemplation on the absolute truth nor are they ever contaminated by desire for material enjoyment by practicing austerity is under strict discipline such mendicants attain a neutral state transcendental to the modes of nature and merge into the impersonal brahma so verse 2.18 आत्मांतरयामी जांद्रे योग शास्त्रे कहे सेह गोविंद रंश विभूति आत्मा अंतर इन ड्वेलिंग सुपर सोल जांद्रे हु योग शास्त्रे इन द स्क्रिप्चर्स ऑफ योग योग शास्त्र So here, <clears throat> say that Govinda or Govinda Amsha, plenary ocean, vibhuti expansions, J, which I is, he who is described in the Yoga Shastras as the indwelling super soul, Atma Antaryami, is also a plenary portion of Govinda's personal expansion. The supreme personality of Godhead is by nature joyful. his enjoyments or past times are completely transcendental he is not the fourth dimension he is in the fourth dimension of existence for although the material world is measured by the limitations of length breadth and height the supreme lord is completely unlimited in his body form and existence 
is not personally attached to any of the affairs within the material cosmos. The material world is created by the expansion of his Purushavatars who direct the aggregate material energy and all the conditioned souls. By understanding the three expansions of the Purusha, a living entity can transcend the position of knowing only the 24 elements of the material world. One of the expansions of Mahavishnu is Trudarshaya Vishnu, the super soul within every living entity. As the super soul of the total aggregate of the living entities, or the second Purusha, he is known as Garbhadarshaya Vishnu. As the creator or original cause of innumerable universes, or the first Purusha who is lying on the causal ocean is called Mahavishnu. The three Purushas direct the affairs of the material world. The authorized scriptures direct the individual souls to revive their relationship with the super soul. Indeed, the system of yoga is the process of transcending the influence of the material elements by establishing a connection with the Purusha known as Paramatma. One who has thoroughly studied the intricacies of creation can know very easily that this Paramatma is the plenary portion of the Supreme Being, Shri Krishna. So, so far, uh, first, um, there was a discussion on um, Brahma, Vadanti Tattva Vidas Tattva Yat Jnana Madhvaya Brahmeti Paramatmeti Bhagwaniti Shabdati. The same absolute truth known as Brahma, Paramatma and Bhagwan. So, now verse number 2.19 Ananta Spatike Jaise Eka Surya Bhase Jiva Govindera Amsha Prakashe Ananta unlimited spatike in crystals Jaiche just as Ek one Surja Sun Bhase appears Taiche just so Jive in the living entity Govindera of Govinda Amsha portion Prakashi manifest as the one sun appears reflected in countless jewels. So, Govinda manifests himself as Paramatma in the hearts of all living beings. The sun is situated in a specific location, but is reflected in countless jewels and appears in innumerable localized aspects. Similarly, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, although eternally present in his transcendental abode, Golok Vrindavan, is reflected in everyone's heart as a super soul. In the Upanishads, it is said that the Jiva, the living entity, and the Paramatma, super soul, are like two birds sitting in the same tree. The super soul engages the living being in executing fruity work as a result of his deeds in the past. But the Paramatma has nothing to do with such engagements. As soon as the living being ceases to act in terms of fruity work and takes to the service of the Lord, the Paramatma, coming to know of his supremacy, he is immediately freed from all designations and in that pure state he enters the kingdom of God known as Vaikuntha. The Paramatma or Super Soul, the guide of the individual beings, does not take part in fulfilling the desires of the living beings, but he arranges for their fulfillment by material nature. As soon as an individual soul becomes conscious of his eternal relationship with the Super Soul and looks only to find him only towards him, he at once becomes free from the entanglements of material life. Christian philosophers who do not believe in the laws of karma put forward the argument that it is absurd to say one must accept the results of past deeds of which he has no consciousness. A criminal is first reminded of his misdeeds by witnesses in a law court, and then is punished. If death is complete forgetfulness, why should a person be punished for his past misdeeds? The conception of the Paramatma is an invincible answer to these fallacious arguments. So here, the Paramatma is the witness of the past activities of the individual living being. A man may not remember 
what he has done in his childhood but his father who has seen him grow through various stages of development suddenly remembers similarly the living being undergoes many changes of body through many lives but the super soul is always with him and remembers all his activities despite his evolution through different bodies so sai maharaj is actually oh, giving very amazing actually this uh, explanation that we do not know mm, what we have done in the past but bhagwan mm, bhagwan actually remembers everything mm. and therefore parmatma uh, he knows everything actually uh, so the next verse athava bahuna etena 2.20 अथवा Krishna entire ekamshena with one portion sthita situated in jagat universe the personality of god shri krishna said what more shall i say to you i live throughout this cosmic manifestation merely by my single plenary portion describing his own potencies to arjuna the personality of god shri krishna spoke this verse of the bhagavad gita 10.42 कंडीशन सोल्स endowed with bodies rudi rudi in each of the hearts dishtitam situated atma by themselves kalpitanam which are imagined pratidrushyam for every eye eva like na ekadha not in one way arkam the sun ekam van samadhigata one who has obtained asmi i am विद्युत रिमूव्ड भेद मोह वाज मिसकंसेप्शन ऑफ ड्यूअलिटी ग्रैंड फादर भीष्म सेड एज द वन सन अपीयर्स डिफरेंटली सिचुएटेड डिफरेंट सीयर्स सो आल्सो डू यू द अनबोर्न अपीयर डिफरेंटली रिप्रेजेंटेड एज अ परमात्मा इन एवरी लिविंग बीइंग बट व्हेन अ सीयर नोस हिमसेल्फ टू बी वन ऑफ योर ओन सर्विटर्स नो लोंगर डज ही मेंटेन सच ड्यूअलिटी दस आई एम नाउ एबल टू कॉम्प्रिहेंड योर eternal forms knowing well the parmatma to be only your plenary portion this verse from shrimad bhagavatam 1.9.42 was spoken by bhishma ji the grandfather of the kurus when he was lying on a bed of arrows as a at the last stage of his life arjuna krishna and numbers numberless friends admirers relatives and sages had gathered on the scene as maharaj yashthir took moral and religious instructions from the dying bishma just as the final moment arrived for him bishma spoke this verse while looking at lord krishna just as the one sun is the object of vision of many different persons so the one partial representation of lord krishna who lives in the heart of every living entity as parmatma is a variously perceived object one who comes intimately in touch with lord krishna by engaging in his eternal service sees the super soul as the localized parcel representation of the supreme personality of god in bishma knew the super soul to be a partial expansion of lord krishna whom he understood to be the supreme unborn transcendental form 
So Bhishma Dev also such a great devotee. He also described the glories of Paramatma. Sahita Govinda Saksha Chaitanya Gosai Jeevan Istari Teche Dayaduar Enai Chaitanya Chaitanya Adilila 2.22 Sahita that Govinda Sakshat personally Chaitanya Lord Chaitanya Gosai Jeeva the fallen living entities Nistari they to deliver Aiche such Dayalu a merciful Lord are another Nai there is not that Govinda personally appears as Chaitanya Gosai. No other Lord is as merciful in delivering his fallen souls. Having described Govinda in terms of his Brahma, Paramatma and features, now the author of Sri Chaitanya Chaitanya advances his argument to prove that Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the identical personality. The same Lord Krishna in the garb of a devotee of Lord Sri Krishna Descended to this mortal world to reclaim the fallen human beings who had misunderstood the personality of Godhead even after the explanation of the Bhagavad Gita. In the Bhagavad Gita, the personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna directly instructed that the person is a the supreme is a person and the impersonal Brahma is his glowing effulgence, and that the Paramatma is his partial representation. All men were therefore advised to follow the path of Sri Krishna, leaving aside all mundane isms. Offenders misunderstood this instruction, however, because of their poor fund of knowledge. Thus, by his causeless, unlimited mercy, Sri Krishna came again as Sri Chaitanya Gosai, the author of Sri Chaitanya Jaitamrut, most emphatically stresses that Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Sri Krishna himself. He is not an expansion of, of the Prakash or Vilas forms of Sri Krishna. He is the Swayam Rupa, Govinda. Apart from the relevant scriptural evidence forwarded by Srila Krishna Kaviraj Goswami, there are innumerable other scriptural statements regarding Lord Chaitanya as being the Supreme Lord Himself. The following examples may be cited. From the Chaitanya Upanishad, verse number 5, Gaura, Sarvatma, Mahapurusho, Mahatma, Mahayogi, Trimuratita, Sattva Rupo, Bhaktim Loke, Kashati. Lord Gaura, who is the all pervading super soul, the supreme personality of Godhead, appears as a great saint and powerful mystic who is above the three modes of nature and is the emblem of transcendental activity. He disseminates the cult of devotion throughout the world from the Shweta Shwetan Upanishad. Tam Ishwaranam Paramam Maheshwaram Tam Devatanam Paramam Chadaivatam Patim Patinam Paramam Parastad Vidama Devam Bhuvaneshayityam O Supreme Lord, you are the Supreme Maheshwara, the worshipable deity of all the demigods. And the Supreme Lord of all laws. You are the controller of all controllers, the personality of God, the Lord of everything worshipable. Mahan Prabhurvai Purusha Satvasyaisha Prabhartaka Su Nirmalam Imam Prapti Vishanu Jyotiravayam. The Supreme Personality of God is Mahaprabhu, who disseminates transcendental enlightenment just to be. In touch with him is to be in contact with the indestructible Brahma Jyoti. From Munda Kompanishad 3.1.3 Yada Pasha Pasha De Rukma Varanam Kartara Visham Purusham Brahma Yonim. When who sees that golden colored personality of Godhead, the supreme personality, the supreme actor, who is the source of the supreme Brahma, is liberated. Then from Srimad Bhagavatam, 11 Canto, 5th chapter, 33 and 34 verse. And also 7, cha 7 Canto, 9th chapter, 38 verse. Deyam sada parivavaganam avishtadoham tirthaspadam shivavarinjinatam sharanyam 
ಪ್ರತ್ಯಾರ್ಪ್ಯಂತಪಾಲಭವಾಪೋತ್ತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ಧರ್ಮಿಷ್ಠಾರ್ಯವಚಸಾಯಣ್ಯ ಮಾಯಾಮೃಗಂ ದೈತೆಪ್ಸಿತನ್ವಧಾವತ್ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಆಫರ್ ಅವರ್ ರಿಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಫುಲ್ ಅಭ್ಯಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟು ದ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಹೂಮ್ ಒನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಮೇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅಸೈಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟರ್ನಲ್ ಕಾನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ಹೂಮ್ ಈವನ್ ದ ಡೆಲಿಜನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೆವನ್ ಅಡೋರ್ he went into the forest to deliver the fallen souls who are pit who are put into illusion by material energy prahlad said ittam rutirya garushi devat shavatare lokan vibhavesi hansi jagat pratipan dharmam mahapurusha pasyugan vrittam channa kalau yadavatryugo tasatvam my lord you kill all the enemies of the world in your multifarious incarnations in the families of men animals demigods rishis aquatics and so on thus you illuminate the worlds with transcendental knowledge in the age of kali o mahapurusha you sometimes appear as a covered incarnation therefore you, you are known as triyuga one who appears in only three yugas number 5 from krishna yamala tantra punya kshetra navadvipe bhavishyami sachi suta i shall appear in the holy land of navadvip as a son of sachi devi from the vay vayu puran kalo sankirtanarambe bhavishyami sachi suta in the age of kali when the sankirtan movement is inaugurated i shall descend as a son of sachi devi from the brahma yamala tantra ಅಥವಾಹಂ ಧರಾಧಾಮೆ ಭಕ್ತರೂಪೂ ಮಾಯಾಂ ಚ ಭವಿಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಕಲೋ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನಾಗಮೆ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಐ ಪರ್ಸನಲಿ ಅಪಿಯರ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಗಾರ್ಬ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಡಿವೋಟಿ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕಲಿ ಐ ಅಪಿಯರ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಚಿ ಇನ್ ಕಲಿಯುಗ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ದ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅನಂತ ಸಂಹಿತ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಅನಂತ ಸಂಹಿತ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ರಾಧಿಕ ಪ್ರಾಣವಲ್ಲವ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿಯಾದೋ ಸ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ ಗೌರಾಸೇನ್ಮಹೇಶ್ವರಿ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಲೈಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧಾರಾಣಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಮೆಂಟೆನೆನ್ಸ್ ಅನಲೇಷನ್ ಅಪೇರ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಗೌರ ಓ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರಿ ಸೊ same krishna has appeared as gaura there is no difference between krishna and gaura so verse number 2.23 par abhyome devaise narayana nama shaishwari purna lakshmi anta bhagavana par abhyome te in the transcendental world vaise sits narayana god narayan nama of the name shat aishwarya of the six kinds of appearances purna full lakshmi kanta the husband of the goddess of appearance bhagwan the supreme personality of god the narayan who dominates the transcendental world is full in six appearances he is the personality of god and the lord of the goddess of fortune hari krishna thank you so much for uh, attending this class we stopped at verse number 223 so next time we'll consider continue verse number 2.24 adi lila chitra charita amrut we'll again begin from that verse uh, and it's actually chitra ne 
महाराज की जय ओम श्री श्री मर भक्ति विदंत दंडी गो स्वामी महाराज की जय नित्य लीर प्रविष्टो विष्णु पारस्तोतर शता श्री श्री मर भक्ति विदंत नारायण गो स्वामी महाराज की जय 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 विष्णु पारस्तोतर शता श्री श्री मर भक्ति विदंत वामन गो स्वामी महाराज की जय हो विष्णु पारस्तोतर शता श्री श्री मर भक्ति विदंत स्वामी महाराज की जय 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 विष्णु पारस्तोतर शता श्री श्री मर भक्ति प्रज्ञान केशव गो स्वामी महाराज की जय नृत्य लीलिष्ट हो विष्णु पारस्तोतर शता श्री श्रील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गो स्वामी प्रभु पार की जय 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 विष्णपा रम भगवत प्रवारा श्री श्रील गौर किशोर दास बाबा जी महाराज की जय श्री प्रविष्ट श्री श्रील सचिदनंद भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर की जय ने विष्ट वैष्णव सर्व बोमा श्री श्रील जगन्नाथ दास बाबा जी महाराज की जय 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 श्री श्रील बल देव वेद्य भूषण प्रभु की जय श्री विश्वनाथ चक्रवर्ती था कुर की जय श्री नाम श्रीनिवास श्याम नंद प्रभु की जय जयि राज गो स्वामी प्रभु की जय जयन भात रघुनाथ श्री जीव गोपल बास रघुनाथ सत गो स्वामी प्रभु की जय 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 रूप दमोदार राय राम नंदारी श्री गौर प्रसाद विंद की जय जय आय श्रीला हरिदास ठाकुर की जय 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 कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यनंद श्री अद्वेत गदाधर श्री वसति गौर भक्तपुर श्रीमंत गोद्रुमदी मध्यादी जानु 
कृष्ण गोपा गोपी गो गोवर्धन द्वादश प्राणत्मक श्री ब्रज मंडल की जय श्री राध राम कुंद गंगा यमुना तुलासी भक्ति दे की जय श्रीमती ब्रह्म देव की जय श्री पूर्णमा की योग माय की जय श्री गोपीश्वर महादेव की जय श्री जगन्नाथ बलभद्र सुदर्शन चक्र जीव की जय श्री क्षेत्र मंगल की जय सर्व विघ्न विनाश श्री नरसिंह देव की जय भक्त प्रवार श्री प्रहलाद महाराज की जय चार धाम की जय चार संप्रदाय की जय हर चार अकर मत राज श्री चैतन्य मात की जय श्री श्री केसुदी गोदियमा ओ तत्सक मा समूहा की जय ग्रंथराज श्री भागवतम की जय श्री चैतन्य चरित की जय श्री हरिनाम संकीर्तन की जय अनंत को वैष्णव वृंद की जय साम बिंद की जय श्री नित गौर हरि हरि जय जय श्री भगवान प्रभु जी की जय हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू ऑल दी बॉडी सो ज्वाइनिंग थैंक यू मार्च ज्वाइनिंग एंड वी विल सी ऑल ऑल टुमारो फॉर क्लास एंड संडे फॉर भगवत गीता एज इट इज हरे हरे कृष्ण धन्यवाद